Hey guys, this is uh, Uncle Don back with you. Uh, Caleb, if you don't mind, come on over and join me. Uh, this is for the folks that's thinking we unboxed the same Phantom 4, but <clears throat> we want to clear that up for you right now, if you don't mind there. Caleb, this is Caleb, you remember Caleb, tell them your business please. No Georgia Air Photography. All right, then uh, we're going to get these things out here in the show. The reason we ain't posted the, these uh, double uh, drones yet, the the uh, Phantom yeah, Fours, it's been raining. Horrible. And the wind's been so high, I mean, we, it's just terrible weather right now for us here in Georgia. Bad flying conditions. Yeah. yeah. All right, uh, I'm going to go on and, and uh, bring, bring my uh, drone up just to let people know, okay, we'll get, you can... Yeah, no trick honest. photography here. No, ain't gonna be no doing no trick photography. This for guys that think we unboxed the same, same one, drone. we did not. All right, just found them. If you look closely, I even got a one on my drone. Yeah, see? <laughs> I mean, I mean, come on, guys, yeah, get, get real. Here. No trick photography here. No, no, we just gonna open the box and but you see, we ain't got two of the same boxes. Look, I mean, that's drones. Yep, yeah, the drones and the DJI Phantom Four drones. So let me just set mine out for just a brief second here. Okay, and let me get my remote out. And can you help me here a moment? Hold that case. Go ahead. All right, thank you. All right. And there, you got my... a pink strap on yours. Yeah, yeah. And I got a white one. Let me uh, get my out. battery. You need to borrow one of my batteries. I got, got one over here. You got one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you help me here? My, my fingers are real sore. Here you go. My, if you don't mind, just my fingers are so sore. I can't understand. All right. All right. All right, guys, listen. Let me, give, me, give me a moment. Let me get started here. And, and get this unboxing out, out of the way. There again, we uh, are... I want to come back, come back at you and explain a few things about these Final Four drones that people may not know and would like to know to make sure that you guys are getting the correct drone for you. Uh, always put the battery in with the on and off switch to your right and make sure it clicks in. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and turn mine on. Okay, you know, if you don't mind. Yeah, you're right. You can turn your on too, you know, so whatever you need to do there. Oh, uh, uh, well, like did you prop give my guard off there? Oh, yeah, yeah, I better do that. I like forgot about that. I, I'm glad I didn't turn it on with that gimbal guard on. It might have messed me up there. Thank you for doing that, Kevin. Mm -hmm. what, am I, what am I doing the old, wrong? You know, one second click and then hold for Oh, one yeah, second. yeah, I forgot. Right. It's finicky. All right, yeah, okay, yeah, we're on now, we're on now. All right, guys, okay. It's like two drones running the Yeah, hey, <laughs> look at him now. See, see what I'm saying? We, we, we ain't unboxed the same one, yeah. you know, we got two, two uh, Phantom two here. Uh, but what we want to do is just uh, let you know, I'm you guys. Power mine back down. Huh? I'm going to power mine back down, just save my battery. Yeah, just okay, in case we on. do get I'm some on. flying conditions in the morning. Yeah. Well, it's, it's raining real bad outside, the high winds and all. We ain't had no time to get out and shoot. What we're gonna do is is, is film each other uh, drone flying around out there. All right, Caleb, tell them about these. You can take this one and this one and fly them at the same time, right side and side. side by tell side. them why and how you can do that. Well, even though they're linked to the same gigahertz, 2.4 gigahertz, that's why when you um, when you access your DJI Go app, you'll actually link your RC to your particular drone. And that's where a lot of people don't even realize that's a phase because it actually will fly a bird without being linked to it. But however, that's how you get dangerous because you're not actually paired with your actual bird. So uh, there is a linking button. You'll do the process on the DJI Go app. It'll give you 60 second countdown to hit it. Have a ballpoint pen or something handy. It's yeah. a very small hole. Um, if you look on this drone, it's right above the USB. Yeah, just show them ports uh, right. right above the sand disk and right above the USB is a very small port just give it a little reset much like the calculator resets in the old schools just give it one little click and then it will pair up now you will be it should be linked with that bird and uh, it has worked for us and everything so far we flew both threes and threes and fours and I flew with everything from the standard all the way up to a professional yeah back to what Kevin said let me clear it up for you know for, for you younger uh, 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 people, what what? In other words, I can't take my control and fly his drone, and he can't take his 
Right. And fly my drone. Follow me? Okay. No, no signals. No, the signals, you know, this this remote is for this drone because you're linking these two together. These two are linked together. So therefore, when you set this up, you can fly as many as you want to. I mean, you know, you can have four or five going out there in the yard at the same time. It won't matter. See? Yeah. You know? I mean, it won't really matter. And one thing that I've noticed, Kevin, that really helps me with the satellites, right. whenever I'm doing my antennas, mm -hmm. I, I go ahead and get me a little V like this, right. you know. I'm I mean, sure. I don't have them laying down yeah. and, and all over the like No, no I don't do it. I get that little that little bit of V in there. I believe in that as well. And, and, I go about see, right there. Yeah, yeah. You don't want this, guys, because no, you got to no, remember, no, tell no, them about the sending and receiving. You don't want to cross like that. I mean, you know, you, you got to have that little bit of V. So one antenna receives the signal from this drone and one sends the signal to this drone. So, you know, and there again, satellite, you know, you got to update and upgrade and all that. Just make sure you get your batteries updated, inspect your blades, and make sure your power is all You want to show them what to inspect the blades at? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Usually around the head right here, guys. Close on, to here. That's it. where it takes most yeah. of the torque. Out here, usually everything's going to hold its firm structure. But right here is where most of these heads do to do all that torquing in when you change direction. So really inspect your blades. Check the whole blade, but really focus on this area here, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. There again, guys, I mean, like, like Caleb said, we, we, we all know, y'all know too, that uh, uh, be, be careful. Stay in the rules and regulations, Caleb, if you don't mind going over mm -hmm. what's up with uh, that. Get your FAA card, go to FAA.gov, fill out the application, pay five bucks online. Uh, the rules are fairly simple. I mean, you're going to stay with in 400 feet um, above the altitude limit, so don't go above 400 feet. Um, we're going to not fly over uh, crowded ball stadiums, uh, professional sports venues, things like that. That's very um, easy to remember. Uh, don't fly within five miles of an active airport. Um, you know, that's also something that should be uh, common sense. You know, you need to be careful and be respectful. Those are real airplanes with people flying in them, not drones. You know, you're out 1500 bucks with this guy, you know, they're out of a life. So, you know, we got to be careful, guys. But, you know, other than that, you know, it's very easy to keep these things safe. Uh, like Taylor said, you know, you're liable for this. Yeah. You know, and if, and if you hurt somebody, they're they, pilot guys. You, you, you know, they can sue you, you know, if you hurt somebody with this. So, be careful out there. But then again, you, Kettle, do you have your iPhone right here? I do. Look, you mind if I borrow it just, there you so, go. just for a second? All right, look, guys. This thing, this is, I'm going to show you how easy this thing is to fly. This thing I'm talking about, the Phantom 4. DJI Phantom 4. All right, look. Beast you got beast. this updated and upgraded. You got this updated and upgraded and everything. All your batteries are full. All you got to do is pull this up, especially if you're running a... a, a an iPhone. iPhone or Samsung, the droids. Android or, markets. Yeah, droids. Yeah. I mean, can't leave these guys out. I mean, you know, they, they work. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, they will work, you know. And make sure you go on and put this on there and just lock, you know, pull these down, lock her in, run your cable from here to here, and, and you know, and then turn her on. And, 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 and well, put this around your neck. Let's do that. Put it around my neck. These things help a lot, guys. I mean, it seems like something that's very, very See? simple, but it. it it just something about keeping that thing stationary I mean, there. And you're going to be, you're gonna on be yeah, 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 you're going to sit there and wear your hands out. Right. You, you see how that's kind of set up there, guys, with the antennas and all, and the way this is? And now, you put a, 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 a pad and three. Uh, up to a um, uh, iPad Air 2 generation. Oh, that's really? I okay. That's okay. why I bought yeah, the one because it has the biggest one in the hold. Oh. iPad Air 2 is what I got, and it fits it big. Yeah. It won't hold the Pro, though, so don't go get that $900, baby. <laughs> well, I mean, you it. get it. Don't. Don't put it on here. Yeah, you know, not for you know. this. No, no, Ain't no. Ain't going to hold it. I'm going to just take that back off and near your phone back. No, yeah, but I, I was wanting them to, to see, you know, how simple that was. For It's a good you controller know. set up there, you know, to show everybody at home who may not be familiar with it, because God forbid somebody be rolling around flying like that. You know, that's dangerous. That's one of those pilot air type things that, you know, you got to watch out for. Yeah. Um, there, there again, if, if you don't mind... Just a uh, uh, hit on these right here and and, and that High right school there. High school avoidance? Yeah. All right. Uh, help me put my uh, uh, gimbal guards. Gimbal guard back on there while that you know. Yeah, as it works best with two people. You can do it one handed, but you know it works best with two people. We're going to snap one side. And that's that's what I like to do. Right there. Yep. Go ahead and snap her in. And we good? Yep. There okay. you go. I'm gonna just right, keep my. Right. I'm gonna keep that safe because it's a good thing to do. I don't want to uncalibrate nothing or mess up nothing. 
Yeah. To the uh, new features, though, you know, it's got intelligent, all sort of intelligent modes with this guy. Um, these are what allow it to see. It's literally eyes. I mean, they use sonar just like boats and anything. We have two of them down facing down here. And I do believe these are the uh, same MOIs that were in the uh, Phantom 3, just upgraded. There. They had the um, obstacle avoidance when they, the Phantom 3 would, you know, when it when come it down on a subject, yeah, it, it yeah. would avoid it. Yeah, so uh, it had a very good uh, technology in it. And we actually have a Phantom 3 sitting right in the box. You know, so it's a great technology there. But back to these, um, this thing works like a charm during daylight. I mean, it's unbelievable. We're getting a whole lot of spectrum shots now because we're flying in the trees. And I don't mean like, you know, really into them, but low level trees that we can navigate around because it makes you feel safer because, guys, you're going to be in control the whole time. Yeah, this I, is just I have so, grown con Right, you know. all the time. You're going to be sitting there watching that baby just like you're walking your dog. But you just got, it, it gives you a whole nother sense of security when you're flying that guy. And, uh, but anyway, here's the, here's the eyes, quite literally the eyes, it shoots out their projection. It's 50 feet in front of them with these guys here and 30 feet below with the bottom sensors. Um, uh, quite literally, those just keep you from landing on something unsafe. And I do believe they can pick up water. I don't know if they can, but I, yeah, I, I don't know. going to pick up pretty sure. much whatever it needs to ping hard surfaces, but I've seen it do crazy things. But the Ford Obstacle Avoidance works like a charm. I mean, yeah, just oh, man. be careful not to burn your servos up when you're trying to run it into something. Yeah, don't we had sit to try there and just the hold the... All right. hold, hold, hold the uh, uh, Trying to force it. You know, force it. You right. can burn up, burn up. You know, it you don't works. want to mess up. Take nothing. our word, it works. You don't want to mess um, up here, guys. It works fine. Yeah. Uh, return to home feature works like a charm with this guy. Mm -hmm. um, haven't had a problem with it. I don't, I freak out about that. Don't like to do that a whole lot. I like to keep my bird right here in my vicinity, bring it back well within enough battery where I don't have to worry about the bird flying itself. I have confidence in it, but it's just one of those things that, you know, you need to be in charge all the time, guys. Yeah. Internal battery. Internal battery, you, right? You know, charge it up. This one is external, you know, because naturally you pull it out and right. charge and put it back in. Plug and play design on these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And try to get you at least, uh, what two, maybe three batteries yeah. if you're going to be doing a little bit. You want to have some fun? Go and get you at least two batteries. Three's a good going, number. Yeah, three. Yeah. You know, luxury, you can, I guess you'd say. You can afford it. You know, right. I mean, the drone four. This this thing, this Phantom drone four is really one of the best drones on the market as of today because it's so easy to fly i mean the, the, look how 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 tall this is off up here it's re, totally redesigned it, it gives you more power i mean it, it's smaller too man so much yeah, more it's a little bit, yeah it's a little more small so yeah, much more yeah. streamlined it feels like you know and that shell just gives you but a bit more confidence when you hold this shell versus the phantom three you know you can just you can feel that you can just feel yeah. the strength and rigidity in that guy there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fully encapsulated. Thanks, guys, too. for the business. You know, keep her coming. Oh yeah. You know, keep we'll get shoot, out there. We got Caleb the, over here now. We got some openings coming up, so get them on in. Anything we do, filmographies. We do anything from pictures. We'll take pictures of your, your dog if you want. <laughs> yeah. You want I mean, some aerial yeah. photos of your puppy? We'll do it. You and sure your, you, yeah, you and your yeah. If y'all want to run side by side or something, you and yours. Need, need his uh. uh Weddings, anything you need, shoot us a text, shoot us an email. Yeah. See Ryan Neesmith at gmail.com. Just yeah. give us that if you need to. And also Middle Georgia Aerial Photography at gmail.com. Yeah. Just shoot us an inquiry and we'll tell you what we can do for you. Yeah, yeah. New company on that part. We've got, we've got everything out there just yet. We've got right. still got, you know, everything's working on Technology's that. only got it so far. Now we got these babies, so I'm really excited yeah. to see what we can do with these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but this Anybody where you, else? yeah, this is where you this? charge here. Oh, yeah, charge port um, there. You charge that on the remote. Uh, so tell them just to dibble about the remote here and watch the back the setup back here. Yeah, just I got a micro on. SD setup here along with the standard USB for when you plug in most of your standard devices. Uh, shutter speed gimbal here. Oh, this man, changes the shutter super, speed. Yeah, super. we're really getting into those settings now. Uh, pause video or pause your uh, flight mode. I do believe that's your pause flight mode, actually. This is your video button. Sorry, guys. Wrong side of the remote. There. <laughs> yeah. P mode, S mode, A mode. Um, same pretty much familiar flight modes. We're incorporating speed mode now. And mm. wow, be careful, guys. It's like a missile. I'm telling you, like I said it before, it is a missile. Not only in forward and backwards directions, when, you, when you're when you doing a, a, a yaw and a roll, it, it literally will spin out. So you really need to be careful. I mean, yeah. the slightest 
command on the thing will make that baby. Especially in the, in the, in the, in the sports Speed mode. Speed mode, right. Yeah. Sports mode, right. Sports it's mode. unbelievable. Sports mode. I mean, you um, can hound dog it or, or whatever you want to put metal to the pedal to the right. metal, as that phrase is, mm-hmm. on the on the P, on the, what is it? The, the P mode. Yeah, on the P mode. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's not going to be that fast, but that whenever you put in that sports mode, be ready. 45 mile an hour in calm day. Be ready. You know, when you get out there 15, 20 mile an hour behind you, but that, 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 breaking that, distance. that thing something. was scoop, but I mean, this, this Phantom 4 was scoop. Uh, that, like Kevin said, these sensors, be careful about your power lines, guys, and, and trees and stuff. And but if you're pulling up to something like a cedar tree or something that's really heavy, big foliage, and, 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 and it sees it, it's gonna come it's gonna close, stop. but it's gonna stop. So it will not run into you. You know it won't run into us. So we try it, and it just will not. not you know it. it gets so close and stops. You know, <laughs> it just I mean, stops. You know we want to try. We want to make sure that that works. If we want, we're gonna send it back. back. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna send it back. But well, usually we got two of them now. So oh yeah, we, obviously we it works. Work. <laughs> so but they, it there's a few things that. DJI's got to work out with their company and technology and stuff is like this right here, or seeing, you know, cables and st- you know, uh, power lines. And I'd love to be able to if they can keep the price down and fix that. You know, it'd maybe be it's nice just one if of those they could see it. Yeah. I mean, it's it's there. It's just technology is there. It's just a matter of figuring it out and keeping the price down where you know people. But you don't want to pay ten thousand dollars for one of these. I mean, yeah. yes, you could if you're rich, but you know, you every day guy can't afford to pay yeah. that. You know, but these things here are it works and they work good. But power antennas and stuff like Low that. light situations. You know, I mean, they got to work on that. It's a newbie. I mean, you know, and they're coming down of it. You know, coming down this way, it's going to see you. Like Caleb asked about running off over water, and then whenever you go across, if you're flying like this. And you got a valley down there, and you just say you started at 400 feet here, and you cross over a valley, and whatever how deep that valley is, it's gonna add to your footage. So right. you may be, you may drop off another 200 feet. So that's 600 feet, but you actually flying at 400. Right. So I mean, it's gonna register everything. I mean, it, these these things are super. I'm gonna tell you guys, they are they are just super. I'm glad I got Worth mine. What about you? Worth the money. I mean, yeah. don't yeah. even question it. Just the only thing you should question is how to do it safely and then go <laughs> yeah, buy it. Don't yeah. question buy it. Question yeah. what you need to know to learn how to operate this thing safely because you don't want to spend this kind of money on something and it just loses on your first flight. Yeah, I mean, so I've actually know. seen it done. Yeah. Just, uh, oh, back to the camera here. You can get that lens protector and put over it, you know, and protect your lens. You can get ND those, filters. Yeah. Neutral yeah. density. Yeah, ultraviolets and stuff like that. And, 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 you know, and you just want to protect this as much as you can. And don't, you know, don't, whenever you're coming down, just don't slam that bird down on the ground. And, you know, I mean, you can, it's yours, but you do as you want. But what we're trying to do is protect you and, and, and educate you. You know, just come down easy and said, or either just reach out and catch it. Show them how that be. Yeah, put that's actually your, put that around you and, and, and just one it. of the safest things. One you can do things. It, as long as you can maintain control of the situation. Uh, just as your bird's coming down, stay at arm's distance. Unless you got short arms, I guess it probably ain't a good <laughs> thing. I stay away from your head. Yeah, right. long hair, But you know? just bring her down, and then as you grasp this outside bird here, outside limb, just allow this one to sit here, and then I mean, shut your motors down, and guys. Nothing comes in contact with the ground. You got a firm grip on it. I mean, even realistically, if you drop it over, you still got the bird. Yeah. Uh, no tip over factor. You know, these are sturdy. These are strong. They're fully oh, encapsulated man, they're now. No so yeah, it's, those it's actually better. And you're not kicking up dirt because dirt comes up, dirt comes down, and your servo heads here. That's how you mess a drill up. And that's how you mess these up. Yeah, and water. You know, when it's raining. Moisture. I mean, you know, raining. You, step, you know, I mean, it's your bird. You do as you wish, but we elect not to fly when it's raining or drizzling rain and, and you know we just don't do don't it. do anything yeah. electrical in the rain so why why would you fly these i mean i don't have i don't have the extra money to go be paying uh extra money just, just say all right what we're getting to is it just say you get some uh dirt in here or either some water in here and it rusts. all right you're thinking oh okay i just flew it last night you get it up about three four hundred feet Something's and all of a sudden, something going, you know, and it, I mean, it starts wobbling down like that. One of the motors is done messed up because you wasn't, what? 
you weren't being you weren't being cautious. You're being stupid. And right. now you got three motors, and these things and this thing fall out of the air, right. and this thing fall out of the air and break your camera or whatever else. You know, Perfect. I mean. You can buy insurance on this stuff, but I don't know if it covers I don't know. We, we don't buy the insurance. Yeah, I don't think we it just... covers stupidity. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, maybe Pile not. There, you know, maybe not. A big thing. You know, but uh, DJI will help you guys out. Whatever sure. the problem is, it, you know, that's one of the good things about them. If you kept, tell them about that. I mean, Yeah, you know. I, had a, I had a claim uh, with my Phantom 3, just a little shell crack out here by the motor. Uh, took care of it, no problem. Sent me the information, great communication. There and back, and not a big deal. So you long, and that was within a. I had no special warranty. That was just in within the one year manufacturer warranty. So yeah. you know, uh, and not to mention that so far the product has been fantastic. We hadn't had a problem with anything other than that, but we were using it pretty heavily. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we just wanted to show you guys that we didn't unbox the same drone. Right. You know, I mean, we wouldn't do that. I mean, we don't. We don't. We ain't the kind of people. We're serious uh, yeah, about we're, this stuff, and right. we think you should be as well. Right. The reason I got this pink on there, my grandbaby girl loves pink, and and uh, that that's why I got that on it. But uh, you know, uh, you uh, do as you want. It's your money, your bird, and you know what I'm saying. So just be careful out there, guys. I'm gonna put this back up. Cause uh, we're we're about through with this young shoot. But as soon as we can, we're gonna go on. Let me turn this. You're on. gonna get some live action of these yeah. guys. Help me set that back down in the cave. That's the way you got it. Right? Yeah. yeah. Just I'm gonna make sure that we can go in there the right way. Um, as soon as we can, we're gonna get the footage of this one with that one. I'm gonna fly backwards. Don't it's worry, gonna, guys. Well, it is, it's coming. It's going It's going It's coming. We're gonna. I'm gonna fly backwards. I'm filming him while he's filming me and we're gonna fly back getting and questions and comments like why can't you fly them at the same time where's the bird and it's not us guys it's the weather i know we said it once it's, make not, sure it's not us right here it's the weather let's make sure we're good yeah. there okay yeah thanks yeah well let's see here yeah we're good all right thank you there you go all right yeah. there it is boys dji oh. phantom four dji phantom four yeah we still got the other stuff you know but what I would like for uh, DJI to do is one thing, come out with the fiber props. Tell right. me about that. The carbon fiber props speed up your uh, engine a little bit, speed up your bird, a little more efficient on it, and they're stronger, more durable, last longer. So it makes it smoother. Way smoother. Phantom 3 rocks on those carbon fibers, <laughs> but I'm sure it's only a matter of time until we get the push and release this. And well, I mean, yeah, I mean, they, it's probably, they're probably doing it now. Just, you know, I, that's the only thing I would like for... Uh, uh, DJI to do is two things. Make me a tell them. What's that? Carbon fiber carbon blades. Carbon fiber. Yes, yes. Make some carbon fiber blades. And, you know, and, and go from there, you know. All right, Caleb. Uh, hey, anything else? Hey, just like our, give us a like, give yeah, us a view, check yeah, us out, subscribe yeah. to our channel if you need to. We're just trying to give you some straightforward facts in a technical term and in a layman's terms, you know, just to kind of get you interested in this and show you there's some things that you can do yeah. with these guys that are fun and safe, all right? Yeah. But hey, uh, I'm signing off from Middle Georgia Aero Photography, and we'll see you guys next time, okay? Peace out. Love you. Take care.